Um, that's the area we came into right after the flexile sentry. So what we're going to do now is run back here and get the chest, I believe there's one. There it is. That's just plus shard. Hey, please tell me in the comments, like, what, what good are those shards now? Um, and the uh, bone dust as well. Now that I can't upgrade them anymore, are they worth anything? I just sell them? Alright, we're gonna go open up McDuff's shop, and we are not going to... We're just gonna light the bonfire so we have the waypoint, but... We have no real reason to make all these enemies respawn when we're just gonna be running back in. Oh, never mind. That's a lie, because... We can't get back up that way, so we are going to use the, whatchamacallit, the bonfire here. Shards. Arrows. Shards. <laughs> oh. Mm. Shape. Oh. Deep. I'll... Yeah, so there's a ember we get later in the game, and we just bring it to him, and then he can start um, adding special effects to our weapons, but we don't have that ember yet, and I honestly don't remember where you get it. Um, maybe we'll stumble on it. We're probably not going to use them anyway, so that's not that big of a deal. But that's bonfire number four. Um, we're just gonna teleport back one more time to the Servant's Tower. And we're gonna take the alternative route up the steps in that little tower. Oh, uh, that's going to bring us, I believe, to Straight Cell, which I don't think I have any of the branches yet, so I can't unpetrify them. And... Something else, yeah, I believe this is gonna bring us to Sinner's Rise, too. Bucket. I must have spent a good couple of days in the Bastille um, in my first playthrough, just being unfamiliar with it. There's so many twists and turns. One thing I love about Dark Souls is, unless you know, unless you've already played the game and you're just in your first playthrough. It feels like there are so many different locations to go, and you'll stumble across a door you can't open and say to yourself, well, that's one place I can go back to later, and then you'll stumble across another one, and then you'll find a path that splits into two, and there are just so many different directions to take. And I love that about Dark Souls. And even better, um, I think I noticed it more in the first one than this one, but like, there's so much interconnectivity between it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By that I mean there's a ton of places to, uh, that just connect as shortcuts to other places. I assume. We got some exploding dudes around the corner here. Oh, let's say I don't remember there being any difficulty in that door. Take all those guys out before they explode. There's some hidden in the rubble here. Hello. 
Um, I'm gonna be honest, I did not find this secret door last time. Uh, no, this does not look familiar. Try jumping. Yeah, that seems obvious. If I miss, do I die? Ah, okay, I missed this whole little secret area last time I played. Flame butterfly and a torch. It's over here. Bracing knuckle ring. That sounds neat. No, that's not new at all. I just didn't have the, uh... Okay. Interesting. Where's this leading us? Right back inside, I... Eh? Yep. Cool. Um, for some reason, I never found this area last time. And it's almost like a dead giveaway that that's a secret door, given this little section. But then again, Dark Souls has a lot of those little alcoves that don't lead to anything. Well, we found it now. In fact, let's just go ahead and help our fellow players. Sage. What is it under? Object. That'll work. I've written messages a couple times. Just wherever I think there's a spot that someone else nece hasn't necessarily written a message or I'm sure there are messages everywhere but oh you know what I'm trying to say I don't know what I'm trying to say. oh that's where that led up to but we jumped out Alright, that's Sinner's Rise over there, which we'll get back to here in a second. Not today, buddy. We can come back up here when um, we have a petrified branch of your and unpetrified strayed and get that final bonfire that's uh this is a not very useful drop i don't even know why that's there and if i remember correctly there are douchebag archers Pretty sure you guys are archers. I'm upset though. All right, well. Oh, hello. Ah. You do not get the wood now. Let's just run across with our shield up. It's really not worth our time to try and take on those archers at a distance. Especially if they're not going to be moving all over the place. If they are. Alright, we're at Sinner's Rise. Go down first. No. Yeah, no, down is where we need to go. Let's go up and hit the bonfire. Ooh. Uh, of course. 
That was awkward. I don't remember those guys, so... Oh, well. Oh, they, did they come down the ladder? They must have come down the ladder, because... Or no, they could have dropped off one of those stone ledges inside the building. Uh, they got me in a very awkward spot, which is unfortunate, but that's how the game plays. Uh, let's get back there and get our souls. And actually get the bonfire next time. And we've already retrieved the vast majority of the items here, or any that I can think of. So it should be fairly quick getting back. to avoid my attack. Just ignore these guys in the pots. Probably just ignore all of them actually. Except for you, I don't like you. Uh, run across the yeah, so that's pretty quick. Return. Or don't run. Hello. You are determined? No, not really. Cool, so they did drop from above. There's a second one? Yep. That is what you get, you bastard. Alright, let's go down and retrieve my souls. That's cool. Alright, um, before we kill any more enemies, they're just gonna respawn any more. Anyway, let's go ahead and up. Hit the bonfire. Is there anything? Yeah. Large soul of lost him. Alright, there goes that. And actually, where are we? Oh, we didn't rest on it. Duh. We did we? Okay, yeah. No, we, we got that. Ah, uh, why didn't we switch? That was a bad idea. Pump you. Reset. I honestly don't even need to mess with you guys, and I'm not going to. I think, um... I think I'm going to want to be human for this next part. You can summon Lucatiel against the, um... Lost Sinner. Or Lost Sinner? No, the Lost Sinner. And, um, I need to do that since I didn't use her on the Pursuer. Oh, he hit Actually, a little drop. Yeah, cool. Maybe we don't have to ride it back up. And go. Oh, uh, last well, right nice. I don't really use those consumable items, so they're good. I don't know about it. 
Okay, so let's go and clear out the area first, then we'll summon Lucatil if she's still relevant. Oh. Gotta remember how these guys attack again. I know you like you they're best beaten by just baiting out there. There we go. Yeah, they do that one side swipe. And then they leave themselves open. They have a lot of hit points though. Wonder if it'd just be better to probably not. The swipe comes in twos. There we go. There are a couple of these guys down here. We're just gonna go and use the halberd. Bone dust item I do not know what to do with now. Just one hit at a time. And we took two. Stay at full health in case of surprises. But uh, of course. Oh, it's a phantom ghoul guy. Still dies in one hit. The range on that tail attack. Serious. Gotcha. Keep it coming. Probably don't actually have to even block. No, I don't. Just as long as he keeps doing that. And he's got poison on him, so he's down. There's our boss fight up ahead. Um, a couple rooms over there and some rooms down on the base floor and we should be good to go. Also some surprise enemies. There are some that are like hidden under the water in here. Yeah, like this guy. I probably just narrowly avoided not dying there. Again, narrowly avoided it. Was it worth it anyway? Two more rooms on the left and right again. Another lock stone, I always take those. And that all she wrote. 